In this BI Bytes video, I'm going to talk about another product in the Office Suite, Visio. Visio is a tool for creating diagrams. These diagrams can be organisational charts, flowcharts, floor plans, network diagrams, and so on. At first, that might not sound like it has much to do with business intelligence, but you can create data connections to link those diagrams to values. Here I have a simple sales process diagram. In this process, deals go through five stages, from prospect to close. What if I want to know how many deals are in which stage? At the moment, that data is sitting somewhere else. Here I have an Excel spreadsheet. I have a table showing details of various deals and a summary of the number of deals in each stage and the average time a deal spends in that stage. In a real scenario, these figures might be derived from calculations, fed from a data connection, or exported from a sales tracking system. I want to get this information into my diagram. Back in Visio, I can go to the Data tab. There's this Link Data to Shapes button. When I click on it, it starts a wizard. First, I choose the type of data source. I could have chosen Access, SharePoint, SQL, or a Data Cube connection, but I'll leave it as the default, Excel. I can find my spreadsheet, and it goes and brings the data in. I need to choose which part of my spreadsheet I want to connect to. And then I've got my data. This data is shown at the bottom of the screen as it appears in Excel. But I want to get this linked up to my diagram, so I'll click on the Automatically Link button. I'll choose to link all the shapes on the page. And now I'll connect them so the row in the Excel table is matched up to the shape that has the same value as its stage. Now each of my shapes has some numbers associated with it, and they're shown in my diagram. This is done by using the Edit Data Graphic option. I can select all my shapes, and then right-click and choose the Edit Data Graphic from the menu. Here I've got the two I added earlier, which display the sage and the number of deals as text. I can add a new item. First I choose my data field, and here I'll go for average deal time. Then I need to choose how it's displayed. If I go for colour by value, I get options for defining the colours. I'll choose to use a range of values and then I can set what my ranges are. And now my diagram shows not only the number of deals in each stage, but changes colour depending on how long deals are staying in each of these stages. So I can display data visually as part of a diagram. 